and said, John, we have and uh, we stayed at, I can see the building, it's, I don't know, the Hilton or something in San Francisco, so that's where everyone hung up. That was the kind of headquarters of everything. And, and I got there and I walk in the hotel and I called Doug, he says, you got to come up to my room right away. I go, what's wrong? Just come up to my room. Okay. So I get up there and I open the door. It's like, this chocolate is so overpowering. <laughs> Even though it's wrapped, I mean, we probably had 25 bushel baskets full of chocolate that we were going to give away. And Doug goes, you got to do something, John. I slept in this room last night. You have no <laughs> idea how bad it is to sleep in chocolate. I mean, I was, it was too funny. So, okay, Doug, we'll do something. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. So I said, okay. So I went down and I, I found all the, the doormen. I got, need your help. And all the got room delivery guys. Here's 20 bucks. Every morning, take a basket of this stuff and set it outside the elevator with our name on it. And it says, come and see Doug and John in room so-and-so. We got rid of that chocolate. We didn't sell the show. Uh, everyone thought it was a very good idea, uh, but we need distribution. We really didn't have good distribution. And I got back to L.A. and a, and a guy where we were doing editing had just built a brand new edit suite. It's got a beautiful facility. He called me aside one day and he said, I see you guys doing all this. He says, you know, there's a pal of mine over at a small little distributor in town just starting up. He said, they're going to start putting out news stuff on a regular basis. So I went over and met the guys and, and it was Carl Rollins out of New York, I mean out of Washington was going to do a political number. Dr. Arulene was going to do a health segment. Doug and I now were going to produce all their entertainment stuff. And we had to provide them a minimum of two two-minute pieces every week. And it was up to us what we wanted to do, what movie. So then I started going to the studios, and I met with Universal and Columbia, and the guys at Columbia, they got it and said to me, why wouldn't we do this? This is a great idea. You know, and as I told you the story earlier, you know, they finally said, okay, Neil Simon's coming on with a new movie, you guys do it, cover it. So we did, and we started producing stuff, and it just, one thing led to another, and we did that for about a year of uh, doing that, and then I finally, in the company that we, that backed us, when, <clears throat> I went to Telepictures, uh, uh, I told Telepictures I needed 100 grand to leave the network, just so we had cash flow. And they bankrolled us on it. They said, all right, we'll bankroll you on it. They didn't hand us a check, and they said, you know, I said, out so much a month, we'll send you over, I don't know, $16,000 a month, whatever it was. And we'll see if this all works. And they were brand new doing it too. They had left the network. One guy had left, uh, Dick Robertson had left uh, CBS Sports. And another guy had come out of Univision. And in fact, I see him recently. I saw him even here. He was down here. And I just knew him. One guy was a finance guy, and they all went together and formed this big deal. Got turned into a little thing called Warner Brothers Television. That's what it turned into. Yeah, it was a big deal. Big powerhouse. Big powerhouse. Nice guys, and we knew each other for years. That took a long time for it to mature. But they did, they just, I mean, again, everybody, it was, it's a little bit of, of the Wild West in that business in those days, and you would never take no for an answer. Uh, the King brothers were doing King World, and they are outrageous and funny, and everybody was friends with each other. I mean, we all did business, and, and yeah, you'd walk over the top of them during the day, and at night you'd have a drink together. <laughs> it was, it was very friendly. Uh, to a point, but the King Brothers came up one, one day, uh, Oprah, Oprah had a little show in, in uh, Chicago and they grabbed her and uh, it was, that was history and then they got Jeopardy off of Merv, Merv had sold a bunch of his stuff to Coca-Cola and they didn't know what to do with it, and except for this Jeopardy and he sold the King Brothers and of course, that damn thing has run on the air for 25 years. You're not done yet, are you? <laughs> no. You still you still like television? Is that oh, something? I love television. It's a wonderful medium. Absolutely, it, it's 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 changed a great deal. It'll continue changing. It's going to evolve. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the internet uh, will push the stations uh, dram dramatically of how to do things uh, different. Uh, I watched last night a little bit of MTV, and when I see people today, they. Uh, you know, they have...